That's right. I love it. We're getting punchy, folks. That's right. Public, I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. And welcome to another episode of our Ultimate Spirits competition. Our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet. I keep burping. Without sorry. burping. And subjected to, our, <laughs> subjected to oh our God. crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, a box from Highland Park. Their new offering, their cask strength. Yeah. For our purposes here today, let's let's crack into this box. Now this is new. Uh, this is they call it their robust and intense. This is the first release, so I imagine they're kind of going to be batching this in their releases. Yeah. Um, this is the 2020 release. This is the 2020 uh, release in September. A lot of info on the box. Very nice packaging here. I mean, Highland Park has recently redone a lot of their branding and stuff, but. Great looking bottle. I like what they've done with these bottles. They've kind of done this uh, whole rune look to it. Let's cover Dylan's face here. <laughs> but good looking bottle. We uh, This kicks us at 63.3% alcohol. Holy crap, mm. that is oh. impressive. I'm going to get us poured. Dylan's going to tell us a little more about this. Yeah, so, you know, it does come from the Orkney Islands, and it's the northernmost single malt Scotch witch ski, 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 distillery in the world. What's a witch ski? You know, you guys know it's aged and sherry seasoned American oak cast of different ages, and it's hand selected by Gordon Motion, non chill <laughs> filtered, MSRP ninety dollars. Now, as you guys know, well, first of all, this secret weapon. This was my favorite of the year. Okay, I mean, I love this thing. I mean, I love, love, love this thing. That's really good. And you know, this is. It's 66%. I mean, this is 66%. Um, you know, it's the, it's the, oh, this is so bad. Okay. How about not the satchel? Yeah. So this is. <laughs> Why don't you hand that over here? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. You have one you job gave me to the do. crappy you camera. Job <laughs> you gave me the crappy camera. Yeah, right. User error, man. Yeah, so anyway, um, I mean, I love that offering. It's a first fill. I go back to it all the time. It's just, it's just my, it's just really delicious. But mm. then when this came up on my feed, I had to have it, mm. right? I mean, Highland Park cask. Oh my, come on! You gotta, you gotta pick it up. Yeah. And so I was very excited. I'm curious what you guys think. Um, so this just, is this one here is 66 proof. The uh, 66 percent. Sorry, 66 percent. The new one is what did I say? 60, 65. 63. So, Who wants that back, clearly? Sorry, I'm yeah. not going to take it, don't worry. Um, I mean, I did notice a pretty big difference in color. Yeah. Now, do we know? We don't know. There might be coloring added. Because Highland Park doesn't disclose that, I don't think. Uh, I, mm. My understanding is that they did not, did not, but... Didn't it? Didn't. Well, it doesn't say on the bottle, so we can't be for sure. We can't know for sure. But what I do know for sure is that we're going to taste this right <laughs> now and score it. So we'll be right back. Non-chill filtered. Oh, yeah, the whiskey's natural, warm, and golden color is driven entirely by our casks without additives. Yeah. So it does say no additives. We should point that out. Yeah, that's what I said. Sorry. I was ignoring Dylan as per the usual. There's something in here. There's a booklet. Ooh. Oh. That, uh... That has doesn't interest you. Their entire lineup. It's pretty cool. I mean, maybe. Literature. And it has a What's tasting tasting note. That's not a map. <laughs> <laughs> That's no moon. <laughs> it's a space station. Oh shit! It's crazy. 
plus 20 more points on nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, you need, do you need anything? Uh... You know what I'm going to do when you hand that over here one time? Is I'm going to grab the scissors and I'm going to cut that off. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, it's a, it's a comfort doll. Why is it white? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's getting cut. <laughs> so we don't have an age statement on this, right? No age statement. How much do we pay for this? Uh, $89. Dawn, I am going to use your pipette of magic. Alright. I feel like you could really benefit from it. Really? Doesn't need any benefit. Oh, you put it back in the box? Has this been properly sterilized? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, Jules, Jules what? <laughs> <laughs> his frog tongue? That... <laughs> wow, I'm so confused right now. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. Really? Yeah. You think? You gotta do it. You gotta use the pipette. You gotta do it. I mean, I really like it. Oh, man. But everything just got better. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, it's already better. All right, we've had some time to taste. We've had some time to score. We've argued about our scores. We've agreed about a lot. And if you guys want to see that, check out the bonus footage. Sorry to disappoint, no body blows this time. No body blows. We did bring this box out as you can see, but I'm gonna put that away. And we're gonna kick off our discussion with the good. A lot of good. A, a lot. lot of good. Lot. I mean, this is an exceptional dram. We all agreed on that for sure. Uh, standout tracks for me. Um, the balance wasn't one of them. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to read my notes here. Oh, the body. Yeah, sorry. Body balance. <laughs> they both start with the B. Um, I thought the body was great. I mean, there's a great mouthfeel from this. It's not super syrupy. Yeah. But the flavors all kind of coat your mouth in such a nice way. And there's a nice, a nice viscosity to it. Even though it's not the most syrupy whiskey I've ever had, it still really had a nice... Feels good. It feels, feels really good. great. Um, the second thing I would say is the aroma, which for me, as you guys know, is a big deal. I got a smoked caramel apple. It was a caramel apple that somebody threw on a smoker. And as soon as I picked out the apple on the nose, I was like, oh, I know exactly what this is. Mm. That's exactly what it smelled like. The aroma, fantastic. That dovetailed perfectly into the flavor because I got all of that on the flavor. I know you mm. have more to say about flavor, so go ahead. Oh, yeah. High marks on flavor. I mean, I got, like, molten toffee. I got, like, and I actually said earlier, uh, Werther's Original, like, candy. Oh, my God. It's like if you're sucking yeah, on one of those caramel, all day. Man. The caramel mm. stands out. It's beautiful. Flavor, high marks, good. Again, across the board, though, lots of good. Yeah. So I want to just add to that grapes, plum, grilled peach, boysenberry jam. Those are the things that I was thinking about. Um, I want to focus on the drinkability. Man, for this, I mean, do I think that this is high proof? No way. 63.3? I mean, this is average. Not 130. And, and so, so drinkable. I, I mean, for a non-age statement, higher proof, not highest proof, but higher proof Highland dram, proof. it <laughs> is, my God. <laughs> Um, it's it's good. It's great. I gave it I gave it almost perfect. Why isn't it perfect? You know, it does have like the tinge of yeah. sharp edge from time to time. Yeah. Dude, it so tells not, you it's yeah. 120 years. So if yeah, this was if this was like 15, 20 year, 25 year, that's gonna get all smoothed out. That would have been a perfect, but man, it gets close. I you know, I love this. I love this. I mean I kind of brought up the fact that you know, the, my favorite dram of the year is this, which is the barrel pick, uh, first fill. And, you know, everything has to, like, you know, compare to that. And it got close. It got close, folks. All right. Let's move on to the bad. I think we all have to really reach to yeah. find anything bad. Yeah. We're nitpicking There really here. is nothing bad about this. Um, if I had to reach, like I said, I would say the first thing is the aesthetics. Mm. I feel like this just looks like all of the newly re redesigned Highland Park bottles. Yeah, it does mm -hmm. not stand out. It doesn't stand out from the pack. The box doesn't stand out. They just put, like, it's, it's just like a different color. And it's you brown. Slapped, you slapped a different it's sticker. Like, why brown? I mean, do something with this. This yeah. is like, this is such a standout. Spray it with gold. This yeah. bottle's pretty expensive to make, though, dude. I Whatever. mean, it's, it's on all of them. I mean, the, I maybe don't know. that's why. I, felt, I feel like this... It, uh, on the flavors, I feel like it stands out so much, but the bottle doesn't. Mm. Um, secondary to that would be the balance. I yeah. just felt that it was a little bit skewed on the spice, and you could really taste the proof coming through in that. Yeah. 
it knocked some of the other flavors to the side just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's still a great dram, but. Yeah, the only bad for me, same as you, is the balance. It's There's literally just a, a hint of that spice that kind of knocks everything else out, which is why it's not well balanced, so. Yeah, so the bad <laughs> part, I I disagree with all of them. Um, I want to I wanna mention this. So this is really, really strange for me. The scores for complexity on Roma wasn't as high, but let me let me explain. So the flavors that are there are really intense and really amazing. Mm. The problem is that it doesn't have the vast variety, the bouquet that I love in a lot of these complex, higher priced liquors. Mm -hmm. And so I gave it a seven out of 10. Now- but What was missing for you? Cause you gave a pretty long list. Yeah, so, like so it has a lot of the summer and rich ripe and even jam, yeah. but the floral component is missing. The 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 wood is really it's muted, muted. Yeah. quite a bit. Um, sure. The spice is okay, but I feel like the spice is because of the slightly higher proof, mm. and that's like compensating it a little bit. So there's there are those kinds of flaws. But if you if you take the complexity out, I think you know, the, the flavors that are there are just amazing. So that's my bad and that's really nitpicking. And I do believe that if you drink the other types like the barrel picks and all these kind of higher, super ultra high proof Highland Parks, those things are definitely higher in, in, in terms of the points. Yeah. Well, definitely nitpicking. Yeah. Um, I think we all- I mean, he's comparing it to a barrel pick. Yeah. I mean, this is, <laughs> we, we all had to really stretch to find the bad, so. Yeah. Let's move on to value. Okay, guys, we talk here about what we would pay. I gave this thing top marks for value. Me too. Yeah, perfect. perfect. I mean, five out of man, five. Eighty nine bucks. Eighty nine bucks all day. All day. Go out no and argument. get this. No go argument. out and get this. If you if you're like, oh, maybe I should buy a Highland Park. Go get this. this is and if you easily hundred dollars. Yeah. If you easily. don't if you don't like the high proof, I mean, this is perfect to you know pour over ice. Mm -hmm. Like an ice ball or ice cube. Yeah. You know, this That's is good. what you enjoy. But, stand up to it. I mean, I, I don't put water but or let's, ice, let's, but... Let's help the people shop. So who would you guys give this to? Because um, that 89 bucks is a steal. I think anybody, you anybody who likes high-proof whiskey, yeah, you should you have to try this. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a great, great flavors. Bourbon it's lover? Well done. Uh, uh, if you like it cash doesn't have, cash, it doesn't have that... Bourbon right. high proof. It's not the same profile. profile. So, but if you like, but it has some of it. it has that caramel? It has enough. That I yeah. think bourbon people could get be into. intrigued. Yeah. So maybe. I, yeah, I mean, this is this is for ninety dollars. It's yeah. it's a steal. No brainer. You gotta I, get it. So you know, bourbon lover, whiskey lover, obviously. Yeah. 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 Uh, you you would pay, how much would you pay? Like this is a hundred dollar whiskey. Me too. Hundred dollars. <laughs> Easily. Hundred dollars. Matter of fact, that's at ninety. Hundred dollars. <laughs> This is it. Yeah, I would go as high as 120. This They easily could have priced this at 120. I think yeah. we all would have been like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah but, you know, keep it you at keep the it price. Yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. I'm, I'm excited about number two. Release number two. Don't love number two. All right, Jules, why don't you take us out? <laughs> Where are we at? I don't even know anymore. Are you going to take us out? <laughs> oh, no, we got to do a sports. No, yeah. <laughs> I barely wow. know either. Let's get our scores. All right, all right. We do have <laughs> 100 point grain system out of 10 categories wow. that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. And if you've been paying attention, we do weigh flavor more than some of the other categories, and we do dock aesthetics and value by half. All right, guys, our scores. I gave this an 85. I gave this an 88. I gave this an 83. Wow, so we know we're up there, guys. We are up now, there. Now, is it going to be enough for our leaderboard? For our leaderboard? And also, just to clarify, for those of you guys watching for the first time, we do give medals above 60, 60 points and above, and it goes from bronze, silver, gold, diamond. Yeah, so um, we do know this is going to be up there, so let's get the board out. And here's our, our leaderboard. Our Thanks to leaderboard. people in the community who I'll suggested I'll this. I love how this is like top oh, gears. Guys. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, what the heck? Good job. Good that. job. Anyway, that's Tears of Yorona. Tears of Yorona, 93, guys. The official score for Highland Park cast strength is... You know, I'm going to write it out <laughs> because it is going to make it on the board. Wow, really? And, so it's uh, more than 83. Is it greater than 86? Is it taking too long? Who can do math? 
Hey, this is for our fans, man. Like, this is like, this is live. This, this is, is live. the best way you're gonna. We're not, we're not, we're I'm not making this writer. up. I want to build the anticipation. We're not making this up in the background. Island Bar Cask Strength Edition Number One is an 85. Oh, oh, beating out Lagavulin look at that. 18. Oh my gosh, dude, beat out Weller 107. Beat out easily, I would say. Yeah. Why is there a log? Is there a Lagavulin 16? It shouldn't be 16. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, that we don't pay attention. And this should say Tears of Yorona, but we can't read it. Yeah, but. it's all. All right, well, obviously we need to work on our uh, visual aids. <laughs> We're figuring it out, guys, but this is just for you. Thanks for the community suggestion, by the way. We do listen. Uh, Dutch does read all of them. And then I write with the dry erase marker that Jules that is like, I just oh, it'll be fine. Up. And then he rubs it off. rubbing off my groin. <laughs> this is not my a pure show. Well, uh, despite the train wreck this episode became, this is excellent whiskey. <laughs> Um, yeah, 85 is an exceptionally good score. That's a gold medal. And you're getting every like bang for your buck here. You are. Jules. And this, what, and this train wreck. <laughs> tell us what you guys think of the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our uh, podcast on all the major podcast platforms. Check out our private membership, Curiosity Private, on the YouTube subscription thing. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay curious. saying oh it's gonna rub off i know you did and you're like nah 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 it'll be fine nah it'll be fine <laughs> it'll run out. rub off rub there all fixed Here's nice job nice job bitch it fixes everything yeah. on the show